Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. What's up, what's up, YouTube fam? I'm Gabby Mack. For those of you who are tuning in for the first time, thank you, thank you, thank you. For those of you that have been returning back, I am loving the feedback, the comments, everything, even though some of y'all are mean, but I'm gonna let that slide. Um, but yes, thank you. If this is your first time, make sure that you click subscribe to subscribe to my channel so you can continue getting all the lady latest videos that I'm gonna be talking about. I do have a new series that I will be launching. I'm gonna talk about that closer to the end of the video. But today we are talking about living in Ghana and most importantly, where are you going to stay when you decide to live in Ghana? This is a frequently asked question I get all the time in my comments, in my emails, people ask me, where do I stay? And you know, where, where do I start? Where can I, do I go find an agent? Do I look on a website? Like, what is the deal? So we're gonna talk about that, break that down. I'm going to talk about a um, couple of websites that I use when I was looking for a place. And I'm also gonna talk about um, one particular company that you can also check out as well. Of course, you guys know that Ghana is huge. It's not only Accra. I know a lot of people only talk about Accra because that's the big city. I will talk about some other places that, you know, I've, I've stayed in, you know, I've grown up at, so you guys can also consider that as well. So, you know, if you're going there to retire, if you're going there to work, all of that, you have to put that into consideration when you're thinking about where to stay. So we're not going to waste much time. We're going to jump right into it. First of all, I need y'all to know that Accra is not the only place that you can live at. I love Accra dearly. I'm, I'm a city girl. I've always grown up in a city, so that's why I chose to stay there. However, I've lived in Kip Coast. I've lived in Takrade. I've lived in Kumase. I've visited other places um, in Ghana as well. So it all depends on you. It's, you know, it's your own individual decision. Are you going there because you just want to retire and relax? Places like Kip Coast are very calm. Um, there's a lot of beaches. You find a lot of older crowds there. It's, you know, it's a, more of that gives you that kind of retirement vacation vibe if that's what you're looking for. If you're looking to start a business and you want to stay in the big cities, then targeting Accra, targeting Takrade, targeting targeting Kumasi may be your best bet. So it all depends on, you know, your forte, what you're looking for. So in my previous videos, I always talk about visiting multiple times. This is the reason why I say that. Um, choosing to just go to Ghana and just decide to live there the first time or just going another time and saying this is where I want to live, I don't really think it's the best decision you should definitely scope around the area visit different places so you can get the feel of ghana itself maybe you're looking to live in like a real village setting so maybe you'll go somewhere else you really want that city life maybe you really stay in accra so it all depends on you for me i wanted to live you know in the city life i do go back to takrad and kumasi and kipus and visit family and stuff like that but that's like my little getaway so that's why i go to those places but i wanted to be in accra Accra is where it's at, guys. So, like, if Accra is where you're looking to stay, there are so many places to live in Accra. Accra is humongous. For me, I decided to stick to where most of my family's at, most of my friends, and where most of my work will be taking place. Because, of course, I don't have a car yet, so I didn't want to, you know, go too far and have to worry about paying a lot in transportation. So that's something that you want to consider, too, when you're looking into finding your place. Where to start from? Where to start from? Um, first, I started out with kind of word of mouth and I realized it was not really working at all for me. So I was like, I went right to the internet and started looking. So the two websites that I use, I'm going to post it for you guys, is Tonaton and Mikasa. So um, you can look at reviews on those websites. Tonaton has a kind of a not good reviews, but I definitely did see some apartments there. It's a risk, guys, that you take, you know, just to go on any of these websites. But there are agents on their website. So if you see a property that you want to view, you can contact the agent and um, they will tell you, hey, meet me here and we can go look at it. Please don't go by yourself if you can, like, just be smart about it, guys. Just be smart about it. You, you don't know the area. You don't know who exactly you're meeting. You may not meet them at an office. Some of them will just personally call you and tell you, hey, just meet me right here at the property. So be safe. Go with someone and, you know, be sure that you're actually going to see an agent or whatever. Most of them will tell you you have to pay a viewing fee. Find out how much the viewing fee was. I think I paid, like, 50 cities to a um, to couple of agents and they showed me about two to three properties. Just make sure they show you at least that amount. Don't pay 50 and they only show you one. And then that's it. You don't see anything again. But um, 
keep your options open definitely um i try i i preferred actually mikasa my agent that i end up using was from the mikasa website i prefer that website because it gave me a little bit more details about the place more pictures and things like that so um definitely look into that i would suggest for you to really look for agents and not individual people that are trying to sell because they can turn around and fraud you i mean that's it is what it is that's the real deal they can tell you come and look and probably show this to multiple people probably taking money from people there are stories of people paying to these agents and they don't pay to the landlord it's a whole lot of stuff so to be safe you know use an agent um there are other private agents you can contact online too i will talk about one today as well so definitely make sure that you um make sure that that person's a real agent that you're seeing um finish viewing the place then give them their fees uh keep your options open definitely and when you know decide to finally um pick the property that you want Make sure you pay the money directly to the landlord and make sure that is the landlord. Um, my friends that I went with to check out the, um, the places that I looked at, we tried to meet the landlord or at least talk to them and find out from other people and even like talk to other tenants that are living in the apartment or in the home and say, hey, is this really the landlord? Because there are cases that people would pay to somebody that is not the landlord. Um, I had a friend who went through that, went to go look for an apartment, thought that he actually paid to the landlord come to find out he paid um, to the landlord's brother who was actually working with the caregiver in the house and trying to jip people. And he actually sold the apartment to more than two people and he had to really fight to get his money back and all. So it was like a whole lot of BS. So you have to be really, really careful when you're you know, dealing with that type of thing. Most places, like one thing I definitely have to say, most places are taking a year and above. So consider that. So when you're looking for a place, calculate it may tell you that oh it's like 200 cities a month calculate that for the year because that's what most likely they're going to take and then the agents take 10 percent of what you pay to the landlord um and that's their fee at the end when you decide to pick the property so also have that in mind when you're gathering your money to pay so you may pick a place that's really really fancy but remember you're going to pay that agent fee you may be able to talk to the agent and bring it down maybe to like eight percent or five percent some of them are nice. Some of them are very strict. They want their 10%. So consider that when you are also looking into your place as well. So yes. So um, I post I post the Tanatan and the Mikasa website. So you guys can definitely check that out. Those are very two, um, I think, two decent reliable places that um, I found my apartment. Um, I Well, I went through my apartment search through those websites. Hey guys, so I wanted us to check out the Tanatan website that I was talking about. Um, you can go ahead and type in specifically where you want you're looking for. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put apartments in our car for you guys to just get a sense of how the website work. It's pretty self-explanatory. As you can see, you see a few apartments that there. You can drop down and get more specific in the area. You can pick Accra, Greater Accra, and they will um you know narrow it down, narrow your search down for you. Um, I'm going to go ahead and um, click on one of the apartment searches to see what's there so you guys can see the details that they give you. As you can see, you have the agent number that's going to uh, gonna be on the right-hand corner. Um, and then you have pictures, of course, and then it gives you a bit um details about how much it costs and things like that. I'm going to go ahead and go to the next website I was talking about, which is Mikasa. This is the website that I use to find my agent. I like this one a little better. Gives you more details. It almost reminds me of apartments.com. So here you can get a bit more specific about your location. If you know exactly where you're looking for, you can put East Lagoon and et cetera. You can set a minimum and a maximum, which I really like. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and set as a thousand and then I'm going to set my max to 2000 and then you have the option of choosing how many bedrooms you're also looking for. And as you can see, there's several options. I'm just gonna go ahead and check out the first one so you guys can see how detailed it is. Um, you get pictures, of course, give you the price of how, you know, how much it is and a little bit more details. And of course, the agent number will be there for you to contact as well. 
All right, so the other um, agency that I was telling you guys that you should definitely check out is called Royal Red Properties. They also have an Instagram, so you guys should definitely check it out. It's at Royal Red Properties. I'm gonna put all the information below so you guys can check it out. So this, you know, this agency um, started with a, a young man who, you know, he went to school in UK and he came back and decided to start business. So big ups to him coming back home to start business. You know, he realized a lot of people are interested in buying properties, uh, just looking for short stays, of course, to, um, to stay when they come and visit Ghana. So he decided to start his own property company. So like I said in my previous video, real estate is a, you know, real estate is an industry that is booming. So if you're also looking into, you know, start um, getting into that business, I would definitely advise to jump in. It's a really, really good booming business. People are always looking for places to stay short term, long term. So it's definitely a good business. So definitely check out the Royal Red properties. You know, they can find you properties um, if you're looking to rent, buy. They also have short stay apartments for those who are coming, you know, to Ghana to work or for holidays. So they have properties um, in, and including land. They have it in Spintex, Sakumano, Teshinungwa, La Paz, Tema, Pram Pram, East Legon, Kansumens, Airports, Achimata, all over. So definitely, definitely check them out. This is definitely an agency that can help you directly. Um, check out their social media so you can see some of their properties as well. So I definitely would um, push for anyone to use an agent when they're looking to find a place. It's, I would say it's more safe. You can at least, you know, uh, go back and say, hey, I spoke to so, 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 and so, I, I use this company, you know, just in case something, it turns maybe the opposite way that you didn't expect it to be. At least you have, you know, something to fall back on. So, um, like I said, there's so many places for you guys to check out when it comes down to living in Ghana. Scope the area, see what's best for you. If you have a car, maybe you will go somewhere a bit further because you can save more money because you would drive. If maybe you don't have a car, you may want to stay somewhere more in the, you know, the inner city and not too much out, out get. Accra is humongous, guys. It's humongous. So this is why I keep encouraging everybody to go multiple times and explore, you know, explore. Maybe you'll go to Kumasi and fall in love and that's where you want to do your business then you decide to live in Kumasi, okay? So like everywhere is huge, guys. It's huge. There's so many, many little, little towns and cities and things that you can choose from. So definitely scope the area and you would find the best place for you to stay. And of course, while you're searching, you can look, depending on how many bedrooms you want, how many bathrooms, the areas, definitely scope the place. When I was looking, I looked in multiple um, areas that I felt like would be a good fit for me and um, I chose um, the area that I decided to stay in. It's very busy, it's very noisy. So, um, I mean, when I went, I did, I, I did hear the noise. I knew it would, it would be noisy. I didn't know it would be that noisy, but um, I sacrificed being close to everything um, and I just took the noise like that. You know, I wanted an area where I'd be able to walk downstairs and there's a supermarket. I can get a car right here and there's so many stores and there's so many food vendors around because that's what I wanted and it worked out. So even though I got the noise, I got that. So sometimes you may have to sacrifice some, you're going to have to sacrifice something. It's not sometimes because you may pick an area that's a nice residential area and let's say Trasaco. But to find the, you know, the multiple vendors and a lot of shops, you may have to drive out a little bit before you may see that. So those are all the things to consider when you're looking for a place. Definitely check out these websites. Be safe, guys, when you're trying to figure out where you want to stay. And if you have any further questions to ask about more about like properties and things like that and what areas to look into, definitely continue commenting and send me your emails. I am trying to get down to all the emails and answering, you know, everyone's question. Now, the final thing that I wanted to talk about is I will be dropping a new series. So previously, I've been talking a lot about Ghana, where to stay, what things you need to know, the ugly truths, everything, all the stuff that you guys were mad at me about, but I did anyway. Um, so I talked about all those things and now I want to start a new series and it is called, drumroll, da -da 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 -da, Growing Up African. So I know you guys are probably tired of hearing my voice. Don't be. <laughs> but I am going to have guests on my new series and it's called Growing Up African. So I will be interviewing family and friends and some associates and some 
uh, other you know influencers to talk about their experience growing up African um, whether they were born in Africa and moved abroad or they still live in Africa that is my target I want you guys to hear what other people have to say see what other people are doing um, their plans if they're planning to move back home um, maybe retire when they're 40 or 50 or maybe want to you know want to go and move there now like how I chose to do that so essentially that is what growing up in Africa, sorry, growing up African is, you know, trying to get more people's experiences. And I trust me, I feel like everyone will find someone that they can relate to. And we will have um, specific topics that we will talk about on each episode. So yeah, I think it's going to be fun. It's going to be interesting to hear what other people have to say. And we're not only just talking about just Ghana, we will be talking about Africa in general. So my goal is to interview people from all over Africa um, and I feel like I have a great advantage especially living here right now in Kansas. Kansas is very diverse when it comes down to Africans and I'm really excited about that. Um, so stay tuned for that. I'm, uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be fun it's gonna be interesting and I can't wait for you guys you know to dive into that whole series that I'm about to do. but thank you for tuning in again. Make sure you subscribe, like, comment, do all of that that you have to do. Stay tuned for more videos with me. I'm Gabby Mack. And I will talk to you guys at